Public Displays of Affection, also known as PDA. Is it really okay? Is it always okay? Is it even godly? Well, let's find out. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Elisa from Captivated by Him. On this channel, we talk about how to live a life as a Christian woman who is captivated by God. We've covered several different topics ranging from true beauty, contentment, modesty, godly relationships, and more. But you know one thing that never gets talked about among Christian circles? PDA. That's right, public displays of affection. There are folks who are completely fine with sharing a kiss right out in the open in the middle of a busy street. And there are also folks who are horrified at even the thought of being caught holding hands outside of the house. So which side is right? More importantly, what does God consider to be right? But first, disclaimer. In this video, when I refer to PDA, I am referring specifically to PDA within the context of marriage. If you're curious about what sort of affection is wise to share in a dating relationship, feel free to watch my video on saving your first kiss, which we will link down below. But back to the topic on PDA. The truth is a large part of it is cultural. Depending on what country you are in the world, there is a wide range of what is culturally accepted in public. So in order to talk about PDA, we need to understand that it is largely a wisdom issue rather than a sin issue. If you are familiar with our series on the topic of modesty, which we will also link down below for you, you would know that we talk a lot about how it is not about the length of your dress or the depth of your neckline that determines whether you're modest or not but it is really about your heart attitude behind how you choose to dress yourself. Similarly with PDA, it's not about what exact acts are allowed in public, but it's about the heart attitude behind how you choose to show your affection to your significant other. So while PDA may be a topic that is more about wisdom rather than sin, there are still objective biblical principles that we can use to guide our thinking and our decisions. One objective biblical principle is that husband and wife are united together as one. Ephesians 5 talks about marriage and how both husband and wife each ought to love one another within the role that God has designed for them. And this section is followed by verse 31 where it says, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. The exact same words are repeated also in Mark 10, 7 to 8, but it includes these words in verses 8 to 9. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. This biblical principle of marital unity and oneness can be externally expressed through physical affection. Now note that I said can be, not necessarily should be. Each couple is different with what they're comfortable with, but this is all to say that there is nothing wrong with showing some PDA as a way to express the biblical reality that you and your husband are one. For example, when you're walking through the mall, if you see a man and a woman walking together side by side, you may not necessarily know the nature of their relationship. But if you see a man and woman walking hand in hand, it's more than likely that they are a couple and you would associate the two of them together. Well, if you're married, you have even more reason to be associated with each other because you are spiritually one flesh and you actually belong to each other for life. So even just the simple act of holding hands or putting your arm around each other could be a way to demonstrate that biblical truth. Personally, I tend to hold my husband's hand when we're out together because it lets people know that we're close and that we're one unit. Not only that, I also just like to be near him because I love him. And that leads me into the second objective biblical principle that can guide our thinking regarding marital PDA. There should be a loving affection in marriage. Affection shouldn't simply be driven by the fact that you are one as husband and wife, but also by the fact that there is a warmth in your relationship. If you look at the book of Song of Solomon, it is clearly evident that there is love, warmth, and affection between the husband and wife. Song of Solomon 1-2 says, May he kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Now, the rest of the book mentions many ways that the married couple show their affection for each other, and not all of it is appropriate for the public eye. But 
The principle is that whether it be in public or not, the marriage relationship should consist of physical affection as not only an expression of unity, but also an expression of love. So now that we've discussed these two principles of oneness in marriage and warm affection and love, how can we understand PDA? We can conclude that if the couple has the heart attitude of wanting to present themselves as one and wanting to show their spouse their love, it's a good thing. However, that of course doesn't mean you can just do any sort of physical romantic act in public. <laughs> Remember how I mentioned that this subject is more a matter of wisdom rather than sin? We should still be wise in how we go about showing affection to our spouse in public and not just throw all sense out of the window. After all, when Titus 2 says that older women are to encourage the young women to love their husbands, it's immediately followed by verse 5 where it continues on to say that older women should also teach the young women to be sensible. We ought to love our husbands but at the same time be sensible. This is what a godly woman does. So how can you be sensible when it comes to this area? Well, you can consider your surroundings and then make a wise, sensible choice. Is the place and time appropriate for you to be affectionate? For example, are you in a more conservative area where people may not be culturally comfortable with certain degrees of PDA? Is the place appropriate? Some Asian countries, certain traditional venues, or other places may consider kissing in public as a culturally improper thing to do. While it's not sinful for you to do so, you can be sensible and choose to be respectful of what others are comfortable with. That might even be a way for you to be taken more seriously in your witness as a Christian. So maybe you can just wait until you get home to share that kiss. Or on the flip side, if you're in an area where it's more culturally accepted and others are unfazed by your affection, maybe that's not something you need to be as concerned about. Honeymoon destinations or vacation spots may be one of those settings. In that case, you have considered your surroundings sensibly and you can choose to share your affection openly. Another example is, are you in the middle of Sunday church service or are you socializing with others after Sunday church service? This time is the same place, but is the time appropriate? Is it going to distract from the event at hand? Sunday service at church where corporate worship of God is the priority may not be the best time to potentially distract your husband or others sitting near you or perhaps even the preacher by cozying up to your husband excessively. You can then consider sensibly if how you show your affection will enhance or take away from others and your own worship of God on a Sunday morning. Maybe you can simply choose instead to hold onto his arm or maybe you just put your hand on his knee. Something simple and affectionate, but sensible. To be honest, this is what I sometimes do. Just latch onto Brian during Sunday service. However, how you go about expressing affection may look different once service is over and the teaching of God's word has finished. You can consider sensibly and show your affection accordingly. All in all, the point is that PDA between husband and wife is totally fine as it is a display of their oneness and love for each other. Pairing that with sensibility and wisdom to consider what time and place is appropriate for different kinds of PDA can be an additional way to glorify God in your marriage. I hope this video increases your understanding of how to be captivated by God even in the context of marital physical affection. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay captivated. <laughs>